Oh, good morning. Steam for Alcohol Free Lifestyle. I want to talk a little bit about alcohol in the brain because alcohol, or more specifically ethanol, affects the brain in several different ways, causing physiologically damaging effects, slurred speech, slowness mentally generally and uncoordinated body movements loss of inhibition a plethora of things but it basically is a depressant of the central nervous system as medical science has progressed it's been found that as even a social a moderate drinker which means in women probably about seven drinks a week or men 14 drinks a week that can be anything can be 14 pints of lager, 14 pints of bitter, 14 gins, whatever, will have damaging, long-lasting effects on the brain. So it's not just physical issues you're going to have, but it's brain problems. And I put a lot of my previous anxiety down to this, because before I started to drink habitually, she would say, I never had any anxiety. And now I'm sober, I don't have any anxiety. It, it went very quickly, actually, to be fair, the anxiety, because as a drinker, I was conscious of everything. Any sort of problem I had in life, I'm not saying that when you get sober, your problems will disappear, but you're more able to cope with them. We all have issues in life. Nothing simple, is it? But when you're drinking, when I was drinking anyway, the anxiety got to such a point that I couldn't function. And it's all down to brain activity, I believe. And various studies are now showing that obviously dementia is on the increase, as you'll be aware. Some of this may be attributed to longer term drinking. Because as a society, I think we're drinking more. There's various facts and figures about this, but I've seen it. And my own, you know, from my own perspective, that people are drinking more. Certainly, my generation did. Whether the youngsters have changed, I don't know. But people seem to be drinking more wines and spirits than they ever used to. Back in my day, my day, people had a few pints of beer, snake bites, lagers, or something. A lot of men now drink wine. It's all ethanol. Don't get me wrong; it's all the same sort of stuff. But I think people are drinking more concentrated drinks now and I think it all it's, it's a build up isn't it there's more stress in society now there's always been stress around but it just seems to be harder to live now and people, more people are reaching for the bottle so as far as the brain's concerned this is why you get this anxiety you get brain fog it interrupts your sleep pattern it can be very depressing I said it's a depressing drug isn't it so just be aware of these things because they'll creep up on you very quickly because time flies by and when you stop drinking you'll get your life back your brain activity will come back you'll feel more switched on sharper brighter um everything will be clearer in your mind basically more clarity in general you'll feel more relaxed less anxious more confident all these things will happen if you stop drinking so there's a lot more study going into the mental health side of things with alcohol now it was always originally the harm we do to your body with you know high blood pressure strokes heart attacks liver disease pancreatitis this sort of thing but there's an awful lot of study gone into the uh, effects on the brain now and it doesn't take a lot of alcohol to change brain activity and once those cells are dying you can never get them back Please subscribe to the channel for uh, more information about various aspects of drinking and recovery and this sort of thing. If you've got any comments, please drop me a line.